make them like that anymore, do they, Tom? Beautiful. Yep. Hey, welcome back to Griot's Garage Treasures. And we're here in Tom Armstrong's garage having fun. And Tom, this is one incredible car. This is your real prize winner here, isn't it? It is. This car Susan and I have owned for 52 years, I think it is. And this is a Cord. Yep. 1936 Phaeton. And they call this the coffin nose cord because you can see it kind of does look like a coffin, but this isn't supercharged like your other one. No, it isn't. Uh, they only supercharged in 37. This is a 36. And so this has a V8, flathead V8 in it? Correct. Okay, but something else I noticed about this, Tom, and this is really ahead of its time because Corvette picked this up years ago or General Motors did. But look at that, they got covered headlights. Right. So these will open up, I guess they're vacuum operated? Or well, mechanical. unfortunately you have to crank them up, but, but they work fine. Okay. And you can see, they got more than a five mile an hour bumper on here. This was when a bumper was a real bumper in it. But what I noticed back here is the top. You know, this is a convertible. You've had this in different shows where? Yeah, this has been to the national meet of Auburn Cord Duesenberg and won the most popular Accord and the Gordon Beerig Trophy for the best court in the country. And uh, then it's been to the Grand Classic in California, and it won uh, best in show at the Forest Grove Concours. And you restored it yourself, what did you say, it's like 14 years? 14 years, this was a big project, and you know, every, everything was a, was a challenge, both my skill and uh, money. Like I remember the bumper, you just mentioned that. It didn't come with a bumper. There's a reason cords don't have bumpers, is to get to the transmission when it didn't shift, you had to take the, the bumper off and so forth and get in there and make it work manually. Susan was out in my 57 Chevy buying this bumper for my Christmas, and uh, she came home with a damaged car, and, and she told me she hit a dog, and I was worried about what she was doing way off in the country, you know, in my Chevy, and I couldn't get a straight answer. So I finally just decided to shut up. Of course, she was buying me a bumper and she paid $40 for it. You know, you were probably a wise man. That was, shut that was, up, right? that was a huge <laughs> number. Well, I'll tell you, I noticed back here though, with this is a convertible top, I noticed that this is ahead of its time back here as well. It's totally enclosed. Tell me about that. Very unique. This unsnaps, this whole section raises up. The convertible top goes right down into there. The quarter windows, these snap off. The quarter windows fold into here, so you get this beautiful, clean design, which was what Gordon Burig, the designer, was all about. You notice no door hinges, uh, no hinges back here. Right. Flush-mounted tail lights, center-mounted license plate, gas filler concealed behind there. Unbelievable stuff for 1936. Here's a gorgeous two-wheeler. In fact, it's the only two-wheeler in the collection. It's a Holly Davidson, it's a bagger, it's a heritage soft tail, 88 cubic inch twin. It's got 723 miles, actual miles on it since new. It's seven years old. And of course, there's two sides to this story, his and hers. <laughs> Our family tradition has not been motorcycles. She didn't want me to have a motorcycle, obviously. Tom never's had a motorcycle. He didn't ride a motorcycle as a young man. I did buy him some years ago for a present, um, an old Indian motorcycle, which was kind of dangerous. And I was not skilled on a motorcycle at all. I had to go to motorcycle school and get my license and all that business. One day the doorbell rang and this man was here with this big soft tail Harley motorcycle. And he said, I'm delivering this for Tom. And I said, well, Tom hasn't ordered a motorcycle. And he said, oh yes, he did. And I said, oh no, it couldn't possibly be. The man that ran the store called me and said, your wife won't let me unload the motorcycle here. And I said, well, just go around the corner, unload it and take off and just leave it there. Usually he tells me what he buys. I'll tell you what, we're up here in Tom's room. This is above the garage where all those fabulous cars are. We have a whole city here, a railroad. Look at this, is awesome. How many trains do you have? 16. 16. Transformers with double handles. You got smoke, you got whistles. This is... What in the world are you doing? I can't leave you alone for an instant. No, but you can leave me alone for several hours here. Tom and I are doing trains. Boy, it just goes to show you what these guys have in their garage. They've got everything. Well, we're going to go to the race shop right after this break, so stay with us. I promise you we're really going to go there. 
I'm having fun.